Now to some terrifying moments for a member of Congress. Philadelphia police say Pennsylvania Democratic Congresswoman Mary Gay Scanlon was carjacked in broad daylight after she left an event at a Philadelphia park. Scanlon's spokesperson says she was unharmed. Wow. But her federally issued phone and ID were in the vehicle. Delaware State Police say her car was found a few hours later at a shopping center in Newark, Delaware. Five people inside the car were taken into custody. Joining us now from Philadelphia, Randy Gyllenhaal, a reporter for our NBC News Philadelphia station. Randy, what more are we learning about what happened? I mean, in broad daylight, what does this say about crime in Philly right now? Yeah, so thankfully, Stephanie, she was not injured, but she was held up at gunpoint the middle of the day in South Philadelphia. The congresswoman represents that part of the city. She was actually in FDR Park for an event with other members of Congress. But as she was walking back to her car, that's when she became the city's latest carjacking victim. Uh, police say two men approached her, uh, pointed a gun, demanded her belongings, including that government issued cell phone, and then took off in her Acura MDX uh, later that night. Delaware State Police pulled over a, a similar car, five people inside, and took that car into impound. Those five people were arrested and are now suspects in this carjacking. However, in the city of Philadelphia, we are seeing a number of carjackings that are increasing dramatically. Most victims, of course, do not get the assistance of the FBI, who is helping on this case. Often these cars are ditched uh, after a joyride or sometimes sold as used car prices are now approaching all-time highs. Uh, those five suspects now, four Four men, one woman, they are in custody across state lines in Delaware as this investigation is moving forward. The congresswoman, Mary Gay Scanlon, is saying she's okay and is thanking police this morning for tracking down her car. Stephanie? How strange is this for something like this to happen in Philly, right? When we hear this, we're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. How common is it? Well, usually not very common, but uh, in the last two years since before the pandemic, carjackings up some 50 percent in the city of Philadelphia. And, you know, we've had some disturbing cases in just the past few weeks. A young mother with her daughter in the back seat had her car stolen. That led to an amber alert because the daughter was still inside. And then recently, a Temple University senior, Sam Collington, was shot and killed during a botched carjacking just feet from Temple's campus. Uh, of course, other crimes also spiking in the last Last year, we were seeing record numbers of homicides, approaching 550 killings in Philadelphia this year. That is an all-time high. Of course, other big cities across the country are seeing similar trends. Chicago, San Francisco also seeing this surge of carjackings as police and law enforcement working to get a handle on it. But it really is terrifying for the people who are driving around, for delivery drivers, Uber Eats drivers who have to drive their cars off and leaving them running. And that's where we're seeing a lot of these carjackings as well as cities all over are seeing this trend as well. Stephanie.